news conference was held a week after the Madison County Sheriff's Office concluded its investigation into the shooting. Now, the district attorney says the shooting was justified and it won't be turned over to a grand jury. The DA said it would be unethical to do so since the, he doesn't think the evidence would lead to a conviction. He also shared a detailed timeline of what happened ahead of that shooting. The five officers who responded are still on administrative leave tonight. The DA didn't release their names. The city of Madison says it will conduct its own internal investigation of the case. And we continue our team coverage tonight with Way 31 Stephen Dilsizian. He spoke to the president of the Huntsville Madison County NAACP, who has a message for people in Alabama. Stephen. Yeah, guys, right now I'm standing in that same exact parking spot where Dana Fletcher's van was weeks ago, where he was ultimately shot and killed by Madison police. And we now know that shooting was ruled justifiable. Now, I've been out here for a couple hours and I've seen a lot of people slowly walking from the parking lot into the Planet Fitness. But before they go in those doors, they stop and stare at a little memorial out here to remember Dana Fletcher. Now, out here, there have been flowers, candles, and a sign to remember Dana Fletcher. Sitting on a patch of grass just next to this parking spot where his van was. Now, I got to talk with the local NAACP president today, Jerry Burnett, who says there needs to be some sort of legislation forcing body camera footage to be released in Alabama. He emphasizes the importance of voting, saying your elected leaders are the ones in charge of this case, and voting can make sure cases like Fletcher's are done differently in the future. And it's up to the public to pressure their legislators leaders to change that law and again it goes back to the voting populations Now, the local NAACP president says he has right now uh, canceled a future town hall meeting that he was planning on having in Madison. But he says on Monday he's going to be having a meeting with his other local NAACP officials to try and figure out what maybe future events they can have because of the decision that was made today in the Fletcher case. Reporting live in Madison, Stephen Dilsizian, Way 31 News. Thank you, Stephen. While one portion of this case comes to a close, others are still developing. As we mentioned a moment ago, the city of Madison plans to conduct an internal review, and the Fletcher family said they plan to file a wrongful death lawsuit. Ever